but on the background. Well, so welcome to the feed. We're just kind of getting things organized for the second part of our raid on the hill giant stead and waiting for a player. I'm not sure where he is, but we're going to start either way in a few minutes and we're just getting things rolling. Pretend we're not here. Um, How do things arranged? Is it first level spells and then second level spells, or is it alphabetical order? Oh my god! No, it goes through levels. Okay. Levels yeah. and then you have to find oh. your class and uh, the descriptions in the PHP. That's how it's done. Yeah. Recall. Oh. And depending upon your scan, the the bookmarks may be worthless. So. Okay, that's the level part spells and the fifth level magic user spells. Okay, so. Share the screen here. So you guys can see my screen now, right? Yes. Yes. So why does it say present to everyone there as an option? I'm like... Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> like, uh, if what you don't, then only when you're talking does it take the big slot in the in the middle. If you put present to everyone, then no matter who's talking, it'll it be... Lo the big it, slot. Locks it. it locks it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to be showing screenshots once in a while. That was I watched a couple hours of our last game, and I was like, oh, yeah, there's no visual. Uh, oh, you didn't have the map up as a big visual? like watching Not, sh not shared. Okay. You know, so you kind of lose, you don't, you forget. So I'm just going to go over this for the viewers or anybody who's out there. Um, they basically, the last session, we snuck up to this fort. They didn't didn't alert the security they snuck in they killed a numerous giants in their sleep and actually lucked out in a way they chose the right door in the right hallway which ended up they penetrated deep into the personal wing of the stead which turned out to have the chiefs and wife concubine wife and retainers quarters they snuck in there said enough's enough <laughs> launched about two or three fireballs and some lightning bolts and a blade barrier later turned that hallway and room into a charnel house, cinders and, and chunks of flesh. And uh, as of now, the blade barrier is still humming away. It's got about 12 minutes left. We stopped the combat and there was a moment of silence because their attack, they kept, they kept ordering orgos, uh, ogres to attack through the blade barrier and they got ground to mush. Uh, characters have spread out a bit though. They are moving. And if I would I'm gonna try a couple things here, but uh, they found a personal council chamber. They found a personal quarters of the consort, as I said, and the chief. They haven't really barricaded anything or Done much else, and uh, I'm gonna give Bill another nudge here, and then we might start and see what happens, guys. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Ooh, uh, and nice. Yeah, and the images I'm showing are a bit misleading, but generally they're deep in the uh, <laughs> personal wing. A lot happened last session, actually. It went pretty quick. And there's a moment, like I said, there's still banging and noise, and there's liquors, you know, flickers of flame going up. Little parts are still on fire, and there's smoke on the ceiling going around, uh, <laughs> causing some restriction of vision. All fire. The doors in this place are huge. They're at least 18 feet tall, he's in a, even a single door. And each square is 10 feet, remember, in this map. All right, good to know. All right. Oh, Nestor, we got, we got a blizzard there. Okay, it's all good now. <laughs> Uh, glad you guys could make it. I think we're just going to roll here. I'm going to control uh, Frush. I'm also going to be controlling Funkin. 
and technically I should be controlling one more. Mm. Blurred. The cleric. The cleric's a bit of a buffer, so he could probably sit in the back and cast bless spells and chant and whatnot. What does he actually have for spells? Anyone have his uh, list open? Flirt? Flirt. Uh, cure light wounds, detect evil, detect magic, uh, find traps, hold person, silence, 15 foot radius. Uh, That's it. Hold on a second. Nestor, one sec. You're going to have to turn your mic down because you're, it's Darth Vader in you. It's quite yeah. sensitive. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, if you don't mind, I, I might ask you there. Uh, actually, let me find the list and then I don't have to worry about it. All right. Well, yeah. I can send it to you either or. I can, yeah. I can, I can take a snip of it and send it to you in Messenger. Yeah, because uh, he's, he's sort of a buff, right? Cleric. We want to keep our clerics safe in case somebody goes down. Now, let's talk. I'll let you guys discuss now. You guys know the situation from last time. You stirred up the nest, you hit them hard. And things have gone a little bit quiet. You're all in different areas of the steading. And, and, well, you're not too far away from each other, 80 feet at the most, whatever, and yelling distance. There's still noise and smoke. But they, as at the moment, you're not under attack. There's a pause in combat. Now, these doors to the north up here, these double doors were well used. And behind them, Redmond and Cloyer, could you guys make... Uh, dexterity checks for a player. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well then, <laughs> that's going to be an easier dex check to make than I expect. Yeah. I'm pr oh, and I'm not too concerned. You guys are going to. Uh, but the twist if you have to make wow. it at, at disadvantage, it. so roll twice and take the lower number. I, I still make it because <laughs> my dex is 18. So Oh, wow. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make uh, it either way. You're down near the door and on the other side, you can hear scratching and sniffling and whining. <laughs> like there's some, uh, well, obviously dog or wolf of large size though. And a lot of them yipping and barking. Like canid of unusual size. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, and and it's a, and and on the other side, you can feel there's a draft at the bottom underneath. Uh, it goes into that courtyard that was in the steading that you guys observed earlier, and it's probably there's a bunch of yeah wolf-like creatures in there. You can hear them, and they're scratching at the door and whining and stuff. Some of them. Okay. Well, then we don't want to open that door. Um, as to where did Beak go? I thought I brought Beak up with the other people. Yeah, okay, so you didn't investigate those double doors. They yeah, were... The south. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but then that just sounds like a bad idea. I don't want to split the party. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you were there and just said, um... Yeah. I'm bringing Gleep up here as well. Okay, so this, there's a big fire burning in there in the, in the personal quarters. There's a dead polar bear. And, the, and remember, this part, half of this room is like covered in snow and ice and quite slippery if you're in a hurry or fighting. It might yeah, be uh, somebody frost or uh, ice stormed. Okay, so uh, Frush is over at this council room, and you guys never really investigated it. You kind of kicked in the door and looked in into it over in this direction. And I'm going to make a roll for fresh at disadvantage. That's oh, too bad. He rolled that four or 19, I should say. Uh, he, he looks around this room and shrugs and starts coming back to you guys. And he's like, so, Coyer, you say there's beasts on the other side of these doors. There and are. The main, yeah, and that blade thing is going to go for a while yet. We got time there. 
I sense, and he's quite tactically minded, right? You guys, uh, yeah. fresh. And he, so I think that uh, these, they haven't, we haven't taken all the fight out of them. They're coming around behind us, perhaps. Do we want to stay here or break out somewhere? What do you think? He looks at Red Mud and uh, whoever uh, faffles there and flirred. And you guys are having a quick powwow in this, in this corner. Pardon me. Well, the with we we know that uh, one of these doors goes to a courtyard, right? This one doesn't. This one goes to a kitchen. But so the dogs are probably in the courtyard, which we don't want to really mess with them because that's a fight. Um, the only place that we know at this point that we can go that they're not going is that southern door, but that might be where they came. They'll come through. Uh, now there's the original hallway you guys came through right where you came into the reception guard room then you went up these long hallways where you guys just kind of lucked out really and ended up boom you were there right in the heart of things so th that would be down here there's a possible way back out the way you came <clears throat> if you wanted to retreat but so far, things are going well. Uh, not that you have to retreat. Sure. So go ahead and you guys discuss for a second what any strategy you want. Uh, I'm gonna I'm timing this, so another round has gone by. You heard so, some rockets still going on in the hall. It's pretty noisy in there, but there's screams going on. There's people burning um, and thrashing around. Right? Do we uh, fight the animals or do we try the the southern double doors that we haven't gone through? Uh, Gleep will, say, you know, Gleep will say, "You fools! We found enough enemies as it is. We don't need to seek out any more in other places. Let us take the giants on before they try to surround us." There's another exit to that the hall that they're in. Let's just use it against them. That would certainly be better than having them come from behind us. Yes. But do we want to leave the I dogs for one of them to release? At the same time. Yeah. Nestor there? <laughs> oh, oh, no, he left now. Okay. Oh, and there's Bill. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hello. Sorry, sorry I'm late, guys. No problem. We're just actually started <laughs> about five minutes ago and we're just kind of recapping the events of the last game they're they're discussing a strategy they're deep in the steading they've stirred up the nest the giants are had quiet for the moment because they hit him really hard gave him a bloody nose they sealed off this entrance with a blade barrier so the giants had to find another way around but you guys sense that they're they're not finished they're sending they're they're up to something, and you guys are in this uh, complex. And what I have to do, a minute, is everyone. It's going to take me about two or three minutes to give Bill control of a token, if you know what I mean. I'm going to run fun. and get my dice. I'll be back here in like thirty seconds. I just left gotcha. him in the room. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Now that well, he's on now, so I can program him. And that's Bill G, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So everybody. You guys can think for a minute, get your spells ready. You, in other words, choice right now appears to be punch out or dig in. Or you know, We still have enough force to dig in, but the question is, which direction do we want to dig into? Or carry on, <laughs> right? Not, not, not meaning punch out or escape, but actually just find another direction to grind. Yeah. So do we want to fight the dogs or do we want to try to come up behind these guys? What did we hear behind this door? Uh, that door last game you guys discovered was... Oh, one second. Cut me off guard in a sense. All righty, I'm back. All right, Bill, in a minute I'll program a token for you so you can see what's going on. I'm just uh, finishing a brief description here. He did, okay, that's the wrong page. Uh, 
this was the chief's chamber himself. You guys haven't explored it yet. You guys kicked in the door. Like at this time, you guys have booted. You guys went nuts last session. And you kicked in about five doors and were just like, yeah, looked around. All right, nobody here. <laughs> went to the next door and kicked it in and killed whatever's inside. This one, you knew it was special. This this room is hung with rugs and skins and there are hides on the floor. And there's a huge, vast, elaborate bed, clearly for somebody important. And you, can, it still smells, though. Uh, there's some couple impressive chairs, giant size and table. And some urns of wine and, and various drinks and the place is unkept though and there's chunks of hard partly finished meal on meals on the floor there's some old shields and some uh, weapons in the corner like large size broken and chipped and there's a chest and a few other things you take a quick look um but it doesn't seem that that impressive for it's the chief's quarters but you quickly go in now that that's what you're going to do for a round you could take a bit of a closer look uh give me a, if you want but right now let's get back to the quick you guys are going to say you have like one or two rounds to come up with a with a plan and like jeff said you have certain options unless somebody comes up with some other plan you can get quite elaborate you guys are pretty powerful yeah. That's the question. Right. Do we, Dead, do we... here. Now I'll let, I'll let you guys alone again. I keep talking. I'll get Bill hooked up here. So Bill, you've got fresh Osigil, and I will now give you editorial powers. So do we go through the dogs or do we go through the southern doors? Uh, not through the dogs. We have enough enemies as it is without people. So, southern doors? We, yeah, we could go through the southern doors. It would give us, I guess, a... Or we could hold up in here and wait for the giants to come to us. Well, they have multiple ways to come from us, and they, they may be stupid, but they'll eventually figure it out. That's yeah. why we hop out in this room with no other exits. I don't know that that works well, depending on how many giants there are. Yeah. Bottle on that team? We don't even know how many we killed. All right, so there's not I much vote. consensus. Go ahead. Yeah, I vote s Southern Doors as Fawful. And Coyer, I think, is okay with the Southern Doors as well. Yeah, I think Redmond's with you on that. Being able to flank around those uh, wolves. Fresh, fresh nods, and I don't feel like myself lately. <laughs> <laughs> now, quick question, Bill: Do you actually see with Fresh right now? I see. I mean, I'm looking at his character sheet. Uh, on roll twenty, do you see anything at the moment? Um, I mean, I see a map. Yeah, I see that. And and you can see the doors and the hallways and stuff, right? Right. Okay. So th we're deep in the stead, and you're here with your Leon shield, and you're all quick, had a pow out, and he's, and we should almost have like a, a vote, maybe. Oh. Yeah, we've we've had most of a vote. And we're good to go? Uh, what are the southern doors? Are these the southern doors you're talking about? Yeah, all the way at the end of the, the double doors at the end of that room where we killed the the polar bear. And... Okay. I'm 100% I'm okay with that as well. So you guys head down the room and this was a double door that was pretty elaborate in as far as this building went. Um, you guys can move your tokens. You should have control if you want. And you guys quickly run that direction. And you hear a voice call out. Oi! A party! A party! Who speaks? I'm representative of his majesty, the outrageous Nosra. 
my chief. Wow. And it's coming from this hallway here, surprisingly. Which hallway? That one? The one you just pinged purple? Yeah. Pink? And you see an ogre. And he's he looks a bit nervous. Actually, you probably don't see him unless you're close enough, but he's coming up the hallway. And he's getting toward this. Uh, you can tell he's in the hallway and he's coming toward the door. And you guys can move now. You have a, you have a round to basically get in position and set up. Okay, apparently... Are you, are you there? I see you darting around. What terms of surrender does your chief wish to give us? What terms of surrender? <laughs> what, roll your charisma roll at uh, minus 10. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, uh, who's talking? And you can get out front now. Everyone can stop. We're going to pause now, and everyone's in their spots. Now, Frush, you're also taking Funk and Hottie Beak, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a sorry to load it on to you, but I'm running a couple characters as well. So, Fleur Trantle, the cleric, he's casting a bless spell, so everybody gets plus one on their armor class. Mm -hmm. hey, what is Beak's charisma? Now, let's uh, I'm gonna say the order you see wow. the turn order table. Do you see that on rule 20? Oh, yeah, I do. That's going to be the order we'll kind of play with right now, but uh, especially when we get into actually a scenario. But for now, you see this. Uh, can anyone see the, the dude coming up? Yeah, I can see his token. Yeah. yeah. And you see he's coming down the hallway slowly now, and he's uh, and he's looking up. He's He's got some impressive headgear on and stuff and armor. You see, for an ogre, he has some status in this place. They probably were thinking, well, who's the most expendable high-ranking person we could send now that Seven. roll minus 10 charisma roll yeah uh my charisma uh, 16 oh, damn it i gotta remember to quit stop sending things so you had to roll oh wow yeah you wanted to roll low though yeah. <laughs> so he's like he's he snorts comes forward and he goes our surrender not quite but i do have a an offer Nostra, the great and magnificent, realizes that you guys are indeed have some powers. So he says, perhaps some gold. Huh? Now, who's who would be the actual brainiac in the outfit here? Great. Uh, who is the highest intelligence, basically? Well, you could go Great. that way. Yeah, that's. Um... Well, well. Oh my god, he's only got 16 intelligence. Only, I say. Well, Fawful has got a 18. Uh, but that's because he's a magey mage. I have an 11, but I don't need any more than that. <laughs> nope. Same here. 11s and 10s. And so, the wiser of you, and we'll go with Gleep for now. Mm -hmm. Um... You can make a, an intelligence check minus 10, though. It's going to be difficult. So you take your intelligence, 16. So you have to get six or less. Mm -hmm. I'll make an intelligence check, too. I can tell even you though what. I need eight or less. I didn't make it. Oh. Booyah. Three. Okay. Now, you could... Uh, you can sense that he's just, he's stalling. Kill. And I understand Kill. who would be the, who represents your party. We will meet in one minute in the hallway to discuss Kill the it? conditions. Slay him with arrows. I'm just like, Redmond sort of holds up his hand and he's like, can I kill him? 
Yeah. And the red bins right around the corner. Two <laughs> bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. I don't know about you. Okay, so you guys gain a round of surprise because he's just he's there and he's looking, and and this dwarf comes around the corner. <laughs> he's like, uh, "I'm ready." Do you have a consensus? We're gonna start this. Just Dude, we might as well whack him because he's stolen for something, and then we move. Just say the word, and I'll start swinging. Word. The word is given. Bird. All right. All right. So let's start. Uh, Fresh Osugul. You get the, the the hand signal. It's the party's in death mode now, and you guys actually last session you kind of this how you guys did it, and the the code word was we're here to kill giants. Mm-hmm. And actually, Fresh, you're physically back here in the hallway, right? You realize that. I now behind you, you hear a click in the doors. Oh, lovely! And so now we have to make a surprise roll, right? Uh, now one of you in the party can be designated surprise person who can roll six sided die for me. I got it ready if you want me to roll it. Go for it. Sounds uh, like. Oh wait, that's wrong. Sorry. Ignore that roll. So you guys actually. Okay, go ahead. Roll your roll. Now, now everybody has to tell me, or or they have to get in their mind. They don't have to tell me. It's going to take too long. Just mm -hmm. try to think now what you're going to do, and you kind of have to commit to it in a way if you follow. Mm -hmm. But this fresh, is, you I'm can gonna, give a warning out. I'm going to shout, and I'm going to um turn around with my battle axe in hand, and uh, if. What comes through the door is hostile. I'm going to kill it. It's hostile. It. <laughs> I think everything at this point is hostile. Ah, well then it's going to die. Oh, you got your battle battle axe and shield out. I do. Nice. Uh, okay, as I said, uh, surprise roll was. Is Glee near me? Who rolled that, Nestor? You said you were rolling surprise yeah, roll. I got a one. Wow. So you are actually surprised now the door bursts open fresh and just as you're saying look out and swinging around uh uh give me one second i'll show you what happens and at the same time this ogre he rushes forward charging and there's sound behind him in that hallway there seems to be a lot of bodies back there uh, and everyone kind of remembered what they were going to do. You could change your mind, but there could be consequences. Mm -hmm. So we're attacking the... Uh, so he told us that there was noise coming from these, these doors over here. Which which doors is he? He's, he's finished, right? Okay, take a look at my uh, hangout. This door. Yeah. trigger. All said, and you'll see. And I, yeah, yeah. that those doors burst open, and there's a big back of dire wolves back there. These large at the shoulder, they're probably six, seven feet tall, weigh 700 pounds, ferocious, bloodthirsty creatures. <sighs> and uh, there's a, a bunch of them, a couple big ones, kind of seem to be the leader, but there also is a uh. I forgot to make this giant available. There, there's a guy. He's like the tender of all these wolves, and he's like a, a truly scary-looking hill giant, scarred and weathered and beaten. And he's got an amazingly large, vicious-looking axe that looks like can cut schools in half. Well, if you guys want to run backwards, I will gladly web this hallway and say, "Screw you, giants and wolves." Stick around. And giants do get different benefits with webs. Like They're strong thing. enough they can that they, it, it'll affect them. Like, uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, hold on. No, somebody's got the mic. Yeah, Nestor. Darth Vaden. Darth. It might have been Bill that time. Anyway, sorry. Uh, everyone, we're gonna go in the order now. You guys lost the surprise, so this ogre runs forward, and he throws now. Redmond, you were kind of 
getting out and getting ready to attack him. And then all of a sudden he just jumped up and he throws <coughs> this, he had this uh, white flag kind of tied onto this spear, which he hurdles at you. And you're actually a bit plus two because you were somewhat behind the uh, arch of the door. What's your AC? Now, if you're in, you're in uh, melee, remember, you get plus four advantage when you're fighting large creature, Redmond. Yeah, I know. In this case, you don't. It's a missile attack, but uh, what is your AC? Let's see. This guy can actually just clip you. Redmond. Let's see. Um, let's get this. Negative one slash one. Nice. And you have the bless, so you get another one. Mm-hmm. Because this is close, because he actually hit you. The 14 hits you. Okay. And this large spear does eight points damage. All right. And so you're surprised. Like, he just, right away, he just seemed they had this plan going. Mm -hmm. They were, he just, he saw, like, all of a sudden there was a signal given. You hear this loud clang go through the, the keep. And he just throws it, and he gets a piece of it. Um, and you also yeah. see a bunch of uh, two more or ogres, and I'll get them available that come around the corner down the hallway door. So you can see there's a lot of bodies coming up the hallway from around that corner. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, hold on. We're getting a lot of mic clips and effects here. Michael, we're getting a lot of clips from you. Okay. I think, or is it Darth Vader helmet? Yeah, it was Bill too. Bill was getting Darth Vader breathing going. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna mute unless I'm talking. So, yeah, or, yeah, and adjust your mic too, or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Um, these uh, these ogres come running around the corner. They're gonna spend the round running up the hallway, and then you see this large figure fill the hallway behind them, and he's this huge hulking. Brute uh, is he's not a hill giant. He's another type of giant. And I don't know if you who can see him down I'm there. Line of sight on him. Yeah, he's kind of got this blue skin. He towers over the hill giants. He's huge, and he's like Rawr! coming around the corner uh, behind the ogres. And then there's another hill giant behind him. And there's a whole stream of them coming up the hallway. And this stone giant, he has a huge table. He's holding it. It's a massive block of oak. He's just holding up in front of the hallway, in front of him, going down the hallway. And he's kind of pushing these two ogres. There are three in front of him, of course. They're, I suppose, cannon fodder in some ways. Frush, you see lots of dire wolves. You see lots of stuff in this courtyard. They, they're, they're making a push. Um, that's... Uh, one second. Fresh, this, this dire wolf gets to attack you through the doors because they surprised you, and this dire wolf does as well. So you're, you're minus five armor class, right? And you did spin around, so you get your shield bonus. And minus five armor class, wow. Nice. Yeah, they need 20s to get you. You just get ready, and you're like, um, well, here we go. And these two dire wolves snapping at you and stuff, and your your shields banging back and forth. Um, you seem to have things under control at the moment. <coughs> more... I, I smile. I smile and evilly at them. Is that your worst? They all start to crowd the entrance. And they're gonna get some. They're gonna burst through you next round. They're gonna run down the hallway. You, unless you can hold them all off. It's twenty foot wide hallway, so they can they could jump around you and over you. And the ceilings are really tall, of course. Bear that in mind. Um, can they, who else can do anything? They don't now. You can hear all suddenly. There's a, a racket at the uh, the blade barrier. Mm -hmm. They're they're again they're grinding furniture into it. They're throwing rocks and metal pots into it. They they're just trying to, uh, what it's it's distracting and noisy and who knows might work eventually. But 
it's a magical weapon device. So for now, it's just grinds away and chips and sparks are flying off and more blood. They might have thrown an orc slave in there, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? And now we roll for initiative. So six sided. I rolled a one. I get a three. Okay, now uh, you have to kind of decide what you want to do, and spells and missiles go first, particularly missiles, and everybody's where they are at the moment, spread out, and they're putting on a big press, a big assault, uh, mustering the forces they can. And we are going to start with Frush. That would be you, Bill. Mm hmm. Oh, he's muted still, Bill. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. I was just keeping it on. Um, all right. So I want to I wanna try and keep these dire wolves from coming down the hallway. Um, can I close one of the doors and, and it, like just throw my body against it? Do they open outward? You can make a strength check versus the dire wolf. What I'd, what I'd like to do, I've got two attacks, I think, since I'm 14th level. Oh, yeah. What I would like to do... You have three is, attacks this round. Oh, three attacks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have five every two well, rounds. <laughs> how many attacks would it be to close one of the doors? And uh, what I would like to do is slam one of the doors okay. and, and about, stand in the doorway to block the rest. Okay, first of all, you'll have to successfully attack the one that's in the doorway. Okay. And snapped at you, missed. And you had your shield in his face, and you're just whack, whack, whack. So let's roll that right now. So if you smack him, even if you don't kill him, if your intent is, or you can use your shield. I, I gave Frush a shield bash, and you could, if, because uh, that plus five shield is amazing. All right, let's 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 do that. So what is it, 1d20 plus five? Yeah. And plus your strength bonus. Uh, that'd be an 18 then, because the strength bonus is one. Okay, you definitely hit this beast. Now it makes a like a uh, strength check to see if it holds its ground, because you can say I knock it back. Right. Because uh, this shield's it's like a beautiful piece of clear blue Leon, right? Um, so let's see if you can. It has to roll less than its dex, right? Yep. That's a fail. So you hit it in the snout, and it gives a yipe. And actually, this one, I'm going to roll to see. Some of them don't actually roll damage. Uh, how much damage you do? So your shield does like one die eight for a hit, plus plus five, plus your strength bonus. And this one dire wolf isn't particularly large. You can see some are larger than others. They range, you, you can tell, anywhere from like about two, three hit dice up to five. Okay. This uh, 13 points. Well, that definitely gives it a bloody snout. Hype, and it gives out this yip, large. And uh, snaps back, and then you can take one of your other actions to slam the door shut. All right. I, I want to do that. And then you'll have to stay close because you can't lock it from this side. You don't have a key okay. or whatever, so you're okay. using your body, shoulder, and the other wolf is in the other doorway. All right, and can so I you have one attack left? All right, or whatever. Do it's in the way. You can't close the door at this point. And that's my attacking with my shield, or I guess I'm just attacking with my sword. Huh? No, your shield's or done. Yeah, you got battle axe. Yeah. Just smash it in the face, wham! But you won't have time to close that door. You just smash him in the face, and if you succeed, okay. uh, I rolled an eight. I don't know what what the armor class is. I mean, I would hit. Um, I guess I would hit an armor class zero. I know. Or that's, armor class that's, negative that's, that's one. A, oh, that's a hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so your battle axe does. Uh, at this. Uh, D eight plus I, one. Yeah, well, plus it's a yeah, it's plus one plus your strength bonus, plus your weapon for, uh, proficiency is another plus one. Okay, that's nine points. Nice. So nine, nine. Uh, 
slice into it and you stop it from coming into the hallway and you so for the moment you're holding the hallway it worked and 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 while i'm doing all this i'm like yelling we got company to my compatriots down the hall yeah and like i said in in the courtyard you could see a huge hill giant like tower and whipping the curs on like the wolves and stuff right and and there were a few other ogres back there lurking (laughs) around and a couple of them had uh heavy crossbows right now uh redmond you just this thing just threw this spear at you it actually hit you oh oh he's like this is gonna be fun i'm gonna start hitting back yep all right 14 plus... And you're just going to return fire at that guy? Throw your axe? Return fire with my hammer. He's close enough, too, to step up. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting within melee range with him. Oh, so are you going to strike him? Yeah. Okay, so I'll move you into the hallway. You actually block the hallway. It's 10 Mm -hmm. feet wide. Now, look how small you are, comparatively. Yeah. Uh, But you could stand in the middle... I'm just like, come on, get me. Okay, you step in front. This ogre's there, and he quickly has pulled out this jagged, huge dagger. Looks like a meat cleaver. Mm-hmm. And he looks he was the tough lieutenant kind of ogre guy and his headset and, and gear. And he's like, I hate dwarves. I hate dwarves. I haven't eaten a dwarf for too long. Stand still, dwarf. And he's going to come at you, of course. So I got a 17 total to hit him. That is a hit. All right. Double damage against anything larger than me, right? That's right. And are you, and that axe does triple damage. Does triple damage? Against large creatures. It does double damage, period. Yeah, but I think it's triple against, like, giants, right? Yep. And right. ogres are a giant class creature. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are... <laughs> Forgot about that part. All right, hammer is I forget the he's he's a tough guy, but I forget damage dice for that. Uh, that was a war hammer. That was one die eight times three, and then your strength and magic bonus. So okay, and you get three attacks this round. No, you get two attacks around. Yeah, eight times three. Go ahead. Oh, that's twenty-four damage for the first hit. Okay, describe your action as you come into that hallway and this guy he's like you're you're four feet four and a half feet tall. He's probably eight feet tall. You see this you see this very eager dwarf just step into the hall and just like is spinning his hammer and then just goes charging for one of the knees and just starts bashing it in. Just Ow. working his way in. And it's it's effective. The knee is pulped and he collapses somewhat, but he's still alive. But that hurt. His knee's broken. You can tell. And he uh, goes slumps against the hallway, but he's still, he's got that jagged meat cleaver out. And you still have another attack, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm working my way up his body. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that's, uh... oh, yeah, this is, I feel bad for him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 16, 17, 18 to hit. Oh, yeah. It's, it's work. You just, you, Climb up his arm, his leg, as he slumps down. You're like, yeah, okay. Give me your knee. <laughs> yeah. All right. Seven times three, twenty-one damage. Ow. And describe your follow-up as you see him climbing up the body very eagerly and just starts bashing into his face repeatedly. And that helmet shatters that headgear he has, and you can mm. see this. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's like a very rabid squirrel attacking a human being with a hammer, of course. And the last thing he sees is the hammer hitting his forehead and eyes. And as you shatter his ugly face. And he goes down. Mm-hmm. Um, you Roki. Hear Redmond, you, you hear Redmond call out, that's what's going to happen to the rest of you if you keep attacking. Yelling in Dwarvish, or do you speak... Uh, Giant. He speaks. If I remember correctly, if I can pull up the page. One second. I'm, op- I'm opening up the 
sheet. I know Redmond yeah. speaks some form of chat. Sort of important because I go with that stuff like that. Yeah. He speaks uh, Hill Giant. You're right. Yeah. I'm <laughs> definitely shouting that in Hill Giant towards them. Okay, make a charisma check. Ooh. I got a three. Okay, you yell out. What'd you say again? You scream out? I basically just like Redmond saying, like, if you keep attacking, this is what's going to happen to you. And I will not relent until y'all are dead. Okay, the two ogres behind. Stop. They're, they're attacked somewhat, and they hesitate. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, that big figure with the big table behind them pushes and hits up against them. But this round, they're kind of befuddled. Like, your taunt really scared him. He's, you, you just you ran up this guy's chest and staved in his head. This was their lieutenant boss, this ogre guy. Uh, so, Redman, you're dud. And Roki. Roki's going to hold until somebody looks wounded. Right. Uh, really wounded. <laughs> uh, Flurred. Flurred Trantel. Oh, that's the cleric. That's who I'm running. So Fleur Trantle, <laughs> yeah, he's a ninth level cleric. He's he cast the bless spell. That remember everybody's got their AC bonuses and saving throw bonuses. Um he has, for now, yeah, he he is just he's gonna run back. Oh, exactly. He runs back. Uh, one, two, three, thirty, thirty-five feet. So he sprints up and he smashes that dire wolf in the face with uh Frush and he goes, Frush, I'll help you. Plus, can shall we seal the doors closed? And he runs up and takes a swing at that other that one you wounded already, Frush. Oh, seven. I think that's gonna whiff. Even if he is a seventh level cleric. Oh yeah. Okay. So he runs up, takes a swing, but you you guys can't close that door. He was gonna try to help you close that door. And failed. Um Funkin Hottie Beak. And that was, I think, Bill. I kind of gave you Funk, and he's a. Uh... Oh, hold on. I got somebody at the door, everybody. Give me a moment. One second. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll take a, a brief bio. Uh, it's Funkin's turn, and we're just going down the turn order quickly. Land Shark. Okay. I'm going to put kids to bed, too, while he's doing that. No, man. I'm actually a dolphin. Oh, in that case. So I'm sitting here wondering, and I got to, I, I know what Glee's going to do. It's just now that there's this new front, you know, there's two, uh, wall fire from the one. Should I place it in the southern one where the ogres and the hill giants and stone giants are coming from? Run it or, straight down that hallway. Yeah. Burn them all. Yeah. Should I put the wall fire there or should I put the wall fire to block the passageway so that the dire wolves and stuff can't get in on the north? I'd rather fight the wolves than the gi- that blue giant who's probably tougher than all of them put together. Okay. Here's, a, here's another question for you. Uh, can I move? Because I don't really have line of sight on either of those. Can I move and then use the wand? I, That's I, I a wand. Movement and, and how that works and, and for one each. Yeah, you should be able to move and use the wand. Hey, can I move back then too? Because you're, it should only take four segments or something like that. You probably can't move back, but oh. <laughs> we'll clear it with uh, Darren when yeah. he gets back. I, I know, and like it became a thing about move. I also, uh, I recall back when I was playing one and such like that. It was like, what do you do this turn? I, I draw my weapons. You know, and that was all you could do. <laughs> I draw my weapons. So, I mean, like, you can move or you can attack, but you can't attack and move. Some people will play like that. In other words, you can't split up your movement during attacks. You can move and attack, or you can attack and then move, but you can't move, attack, and then move. You, 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 know, you know, it's only 10 feet movement either way. You couldn't do... One or 
Okay, it says it's in the main book. I spent a long time looking up the wall of fire spell. And it said it functions the same as the druid spell. I'm like, dude, you know how long it is to look this stuff up on a PDF? Yeah, then you got to go to the druid spells. Yeah. Fifth level druid spell. All right. I need to scroll all the way back up to fifth level druid spells from fourth level magic user spells. So everybody, I'll be about uh, five minutes. Seven oh. minutes, yeah. yeah. I just I'm gonna deal with something a minute, not. A... <laughs> and then uh, I'll let you guys set up a plan here because they're they're making a push. <laughs> Minus start. five e's. Yikes! All right, see ya. <laughs> Candy Graham. Well, that's not what I wanted. Julie spells fourth level. Yeah. Ooh, I can get some monster summoning. Oh, there we go, wall fire. Hmm. Range eight inches. Duration special, area effect special. Seven segments, can't even throw none. The false fire spell brings forth a blazing curtain of magical fire. Green color. Green or amber. <laughs> Four and sixteen hit points of damage, plus one hit point of damage per level of the spellcaster on any creature passing through it. Creatures within one inch of the wall take two d eight hit points of damage. Those within two inches take one d four hit points of damage. I think I'm thinking it so it would block the door, not just all the way up and down the door. No, you should be able to. You doesn't have to be perpendicular to anything. You should be able to run it yeah. straight down the hallway. Yeah, I could, but I was just, uh, you know, make sure that they had to walk through it and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you got a point there. I could just put it like right up into the wall or something. All or you back. could run it straight down the hallway, and then they all burn. Yeah, they all burn. But that, then they would move out of the way and then screw it, right? Only if they get out of the hallway. They're, they're giants. You run it straight down the middle of that hallway, they got almost nowhere to go. They're going to get heat damage or they're going to burn directly being in that hallway. Because that's a five-foot hallway because the other squares are ten feet. Yeah. This is ten feet. So, uh, hallway. Well, not based on the scale, because he told me told us these big squares were ten feet. So that's that's basically a five foot hallway. Five foot wide hallway. How's this dome giant getting through? Yeah, well, I don't know, but it looks like a five foot wide hallway if these squares are ten feet. Only one so. side of the wall away from the spellcaster will inflict damage. The opaque wall fire lasts for as long as it as the druid concentrates. On the game, or one round per level of experience of the uh, the event does not with a cause. two inches square per level of the spellcaster. Like if the fighters were out of the way in that hallway, I could either wall of ice for my wand that hallway where the dire wolves are coming and they'd have to bust through it. Yeah. Or that's one of the thing about just putting a, a wall of fire up there to where they'd have to bust through the wall of fire. Well, I mean they could, but it would it would hurt. And they'd be I like, still like the idea of running it straight down that, that hallway because they, they pretty much have nowhere to go. 
and they're going to burn. But they're going that's to burn. just. Huh. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. Um, are we missing anyone? Okay, Nestor's gone. Uh, any questions about the situation right now? We kind of jumped in with both feet, I realize. And... Um, I had a question about movement and casting spells. Can I move, cast a spell, and then possibly move again? I, it depends how many segments casting time the spell takes. Uh, seven. Okay, so that's... That means it leaves you three segments. You can move like 30% of your movement in a turn. So you can usually, you're 120 right now. So you could move uh, maybe 20 feet and cast a seven segment spell. Oh. You kind of follow? Yeah, I could possibly get. And that's kind of my homebrew rule a bit too. So you look at how long some spells take one segment. You can move quite a ways and cast that spell. All right, 20 feet would get me around here. Would that, would that give me a good line of sight? To what? Down the corridor, wall of fire. Oh, into the wall of fire to cut off the hallway where Redmond is? Just all the way down it. Oh, yeah. Uh, depends on the spell. Uh, what's the range on the spell? That's how far away you can cast the spell. Oh, yeah, you should be able to hit that. I was just looking more at line of sight to see if I could, you know. So yeah, technically, if you're there, yeah, I got the range to do it from where I'm at at the moment. It's just uh, I was looking for more line of sight. Have you gone yet? No, you're still. <laughs> no. Nope, he hadn't gone, and neither of my guys have gone. So yeah, I'm up after Funk, and that's why I was curious. You were like, "Hey, anybody got any questions?" As a matter of fact, I do have a question. No, good call. <laughs> now, Gleep. Is that a half elf or a elf? He's human. Gleep is human. Now, He's at the cool. moment, you can't cast. Now, you're in the corner up here, you realize, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if you, you can't cast the firewall in front of Redmond, you can't see in front of him. Uh, well, that's why I was going to move 20 feet just to see, or as far as I could. Just so, you could get to here. Side. So, go ahead. Uh, okay. You have to say what you're going to do, right? You can't say, oh, can I do this? Can I do that? You, you have to say, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to move up as close as I can to cast a spell. And, uh. Ooh, it's going to be close. You can see Bredman's back, and you can see him hacking away at some ogre in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, you're a professional magic user, and you're thinking, like, yeah, I can bank the spell in there. I'm going to make uh, you make an intelligence check, though, to see uh, you don't F it up. And I can get it 24 inches long down that corridor. Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave it to you. You get there and you think, I can do this. Now, your intelligence is good enough, it. right? I want to do it. If I'm making an intelligence check to do it, then I feel confident about doing that, man. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident. So you're going to, that's your move. Now, Fonkin, is, is Bill here? Uh, Bill went to go put his kids to bed. Okay. So Fonkin Hottie Beak, he's a match user fighter. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. We'll, we'll bump him for now, okay? Uh, Gleep, let's do your move. I'm going to bring in an effect for that, that uh, fire. 24 inches long. Starting right at past Redman. Like, you know, Redman's going to be like, whoa, that's a little... Getting a little, a little hot. There. That's about out. Now, you made your roll, and you did it quite well. So, in fact... Uh, Redmond is suddenly just oh, this huge this wall of intense heat takes uh, Amir appears. You guys can see that, right? Uh, I, I do not see it. I see no fire. I see no fire. Oh, unless you're talking about this little tiny square in front of the door. No, I don't want it blocking the door. I want it all the way down the length of the corridor. I put it down. close. You guys should be able to see it. Um, yeah. Like running the entire corridor should have a wall of fire running all the way down it. I hear it. And there's fire. Well, take a look at my screen. You'll see uh, it works. And it <laughs> sears that corpse, that, that large lieutenant ogre guy 
slumps down and burns some more, and the ogres behind them back off. Well, now, Darren, I, I don't know that you're uh, understanding what he wanted to do with the wall of fire. Um, like starting at Redmond and then twenty four inches below him, like each. You yeah, know. he he wants to run the wall the wall of fire straight down the hallway. Not not not, not to block the hallway, but to fill the hallway no. with the wall of fire. Uh, it doesn't quite work that way. You can't move it; it just, it's static. No, well, but yeah, it, you, can, you can it you can with. decide how direction it what direction it goes. Oh, you, so like you want sideways like this? Yeah, yeah I want it to go. To you know, treat the hallway as the the path of the wall. Well, it's ten feet wide, so it's you you, you can only block a passageway. Of... Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Like the hallway's sealed off with fire. Okay. Yeah, uh, long all the way down. So that'd be about twenty four feet. I I was thinking more like the. the... Five feet squares is an inch. That would be like 100, uh, 120 uh, feet. Is it that big? Let's see. Uh, your ring shaped wall, it's one inch plus a quarter inch per level. Uh, yeah, but on here, I basically. Put it inch to foot when I'm in dungeon. Oh, now I have to go to the, the, the right. Druid so wall. you can make a wall of fire. Basically, that's whatever your level is wide. Druid, druid. and it works quite well. Uh huh. And for now, we'll go with that. Like you're just. Uh -huh. uh, you were thinking about doing damage and stuff, right? You were like. Yeah, yeah, I want to burn everybody, yeah, as many of them as I can. Um, yeah, sorry about that. In this sense, the walls of fire, in, my, in the traditional sense, one e to me, are like, yeah, literally a wall of fire. But uh, And one inch, to me, also means like one foot converted into dungeon. Okay. That would be tough. That would so you be could tough make it 24 thing. feet long, which would be, but not long enough to catch these guys. Well, that turns spells like web into useless risks. Mm. Because the range is only half an inch per level that you can cast it away from yourself. So... Yeah. Feet away from yourself, that's all. Yeah, it does poof right in front of you, right? It, but the old way is just as bad. Well, uh, they, they weren't treating inches as inches, but... Hey. Yeah, that's how I saw it. One square, one hex, one thing, one one block of whatever you're gridding. You gotta okay, remember, well, I'll, yes. I'll homebrew it for now, and then I'll take a look okay. at it. Okay. And I'll warn you, though, when it does give the one inch, I kind of can interpret it as one foot, and I also interpret like a web spell. That could meet, uh, depends arbitrarily on the situation. So, um. I haven't done that web spell for a while since. <laughs> okay, so anyway, Gleep, you cast a fireball wall in there. Uh -huh. It does the... four to sixteen hit points of damage uh, plus one hit point per level of the caster when they when they're in it or go through it or whatever. So got okay. All right. So that would be, and then if they're just near it, I don't know. That would be on their turn. It would be a little worse or something. Yeah, and sorry about that because you probably intended it to be an offensive spell. Yeah, I, I was yeah. going to just blow through everybody. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm not saying you're wrong. No, and I'll have my my angle on things, obviously. So, do you have anything else you can do? Uh, that would be it. I just rolled four d four, seven, ten, and uh, let me go up. What was the top one? I already lost whatever it is. Oh, uh, 11 plus 12 would be 23 points of damage to whoever is in that wall of fire at the moment. Well, he finished off the chief <laughs> who was a uh, redman just managed to jump back out of range of the fire. Yeah. 
And that hallway is kind of sealed with fire now. So you guys have a, some time. Uh, Beak. Uh, Beak would like to, since the hallway sealed off like that way, he would like to step forward uh, just a little bit and then fire crossbows. Darren, just for reference, page uh, page thirty nine, first paragraph under distance. Yeah, I'll I'll review that and figure it out again because that that firewall is pretty powerful. It probably uh, has better effect. Yeah. Just for the purposes of game distances. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know what? You're right. I'll I'll let that. Yeah. But oh God, just 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 so you look at it later, we'll deal with it later. But. I had to find it because they don't clarify inches except for in one spot. <laughs> um, so. this, the, the wall's pretty high still. Because the still stone giant above the fire. It's pretty tall, right? Well, and what, get a, give me I one sec, get, and I will minus some hit points here All right. from these two ogres that were caught in the fire. As that hallway is basically, you put a wall of fire in there and it fills up the first 40, 30, 40 feet of it, I'm going to say. And those two ogres were in the way. One of them is turned to crisp, actually, and dies because he fails to save. Oh, actually, I'll re-roll because I didn't do that on roll 20. What am I thinking? It said no save. Oh, no save. Ow. So he goes to Chris, but the other one is a bit tougher, and he has a few hit points left, but he's in agony, and he's still stuck in the fire. And so he'll be dead next round as well. So you hear some screams and groans in the hallway. You fools, how dare you try to sneak up on us? You shall burn! Redmond, you're like, whoa, you're just seeing an inferno down there, and these two ogres being crisps. And now it's actually... It says it's the hill giant's turn. I'll be big piece of fire at somebody. Oh, well, there's not much to see. That hallway's full of fire. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, step out and then shoot some, uh, uh, what do you call it? So, dire wolves. Now, you're shooting in the melee, and in particular, you're shooting with the, your, if you miss, I you have a percentage chance of hitting friendly if you miss. You totally don't even, like, have me at all. To, uh, fire at, at, uh, yeah. Speak feels confident about shooting a dire wolf. Sure, and it's in range. Um, uh, 70 feet. What weapon? You got a crossbow? Light crossbow plus one of speed. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So you can shoot two shots. At three. I'm at three shots. It's a crossbow. Oh. Speed. Specialized. Well done. So I think both these wolves are actually hurt. I want to put one into each of them, then. Oh, sorry, you can only see the one. He closed the door on the one side. That one's getting three fucking arrows in. <laughs> Sounds. Uh, that would be armor class negative eight. That would be ooh, Ow. armor class four. Okay, that is a miss. Oh, my God. And the third one, armor class negative two. That is a hit, so two <laughs> bolts find their mark. I, yeah, what's the percent chance of hitting of hitting one of my friends <laughs> on that miss? Uh, Flirt is a elf. Yeah. And this dire wolf's a large creature. So actually, you have a 25% chance. All right. So 25 and under. Looking for D100. Uh, 25 or under. D100. There it is. Roll that. Roll that beautiful... D100. Yep. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, you want me to roll damage to him first? Uh, that's, yeah, that's your call, I suppose. One die, uh, six damage. damage. Maximum uh, seven points of damage. Uh, each one of these is plus three. Uh, plus one magic, plus two specialization. Flair takes seven a bolt. Beak is so sorry. Oh, oh! Uh, but to the dire wolf, he took five and four. He t the dire wolf took a total of nine. <laughs> oh, crap, I suck. Uh, he'll yell out in Elvish. My bad. I never saw Legolas do that. <laughs> no, it's never happened before. And then the damage to the wolf. 
a, a total of nine. Oh, well, that's actually, it had nine hit points left. And so it yelps as the bolts course into its its body and chest. And, and, and he'll use his five feet a moment to move back to where he's exactly standing at the moment. And if you want, you'll have a better chance closing the door next round, if that comes to that. Hey, and it just took seven points of damage to do it. Yeah, and he's down. That hallway's full of fire, so they have. There's not much they can do. That you see, the advance has stopped until this huge creature comes lumbering through Redmond right at you, completely ignoring the fire. Do I get turns? Oh yeah, it's. Uh, well, it said Hill Giant was next. Yeah, you don't even have me on the list oh. with uh, Cloyer or Fawful. So I don't. Oh, because you guys came in late. Okay, hold on. Let me fix that. Where's Cloyer on this on the map? Oh, uh, there he is. Yeah. And who else? Cloyer and Fawful. Fawful. I see Cloyer. He's there. Okay. Cloyer. Um... He's, and... he's right around the, the corner from the door. Yeah, he's right under his feet. And Fluffle is right <clears> in the corridor. <throat> did you just add him? Is that... <laughs> I did. Uh, now, yeah. Cloyer, you can see this huge creature it seems to be ignoring the fire stomping through. All right. And Fluffle can see him, too. Um, let's see. What do I got for Cloyer? Cloyer, Cloyer, Cloyer. You know what? Coyer is going to take a pinch of dust out of a storage and carefully sprinkle it all upon himself. See you later. And his belongings. Because hmm. greater invisibility means that I can stab you and you still can't see me. He's like minus six, if that. Yeah. <laughs> means nice. I can keep stabbing you and you still can't see me. Um, I'm so waiting so, for a so put a symbol for that, uh, uh, employer. Let me find. And one that will you. take a round, like for you to get that out and sprinkle yourself. Yeah, I, I expected it to be my whole action for the round. Uh, yeah, and you guys all see him. This beautiful kind of effect. Wait for it. That's a good zero. That's a good. As good of an invisibility as I'm going to find. There we go. Hey, look! It's shiny. Uh, you guys are like what's going on? And all of a sudden, he disappears. Poof, be gone. Like an old Disney cartoon where they just erase the character off the page. So okay, there's, so there's uh, this fawful, yeah. So there's, there's this big guy running through here, and unfortunately, Redmond is in the way. He will soon uh, be in the way. He's short, but he is in the way. Yeah. And there's a lot of fire, but you can see this creature coming through the flames quickly. Yeah, but Redman would be in the way for what I want to do. So, gotcha. What are you trying it, to do? Uh, well, you don't want to get kind of colded in the back of the face, so no. I'm going to not do think... that. And um, I mean... <laughs> you can't change your spell now if you had, <clears throat> like you had to declare a spell at the beginning of the round and such and whatnot, I mean, right? How much uh, damage does that I'll, do? Uh, you can this round, but the guys, just be aware, next that's why I said declare. Think what you're going to do because in mid round you can't change your mind when it comes to certain yeah. things. What I'm going to do is how much damage does that do? Uh, it'll do sixty six, so you don't want it in the back of the head. Um, I'm going to magic missile the guy who's coming, and uh, I'm going to get my wand out since magic missile is really fast. Um, let me. Get to magic user spells here. Uh, Whip out your wand and point. Yeah, we'll hold it because I'll do it as soon as he steps out of the way. But okay, so magic missile takes one segment, so I have plenty of time to grab a wand after I cast this. Um, let's see. Uh, so and then I gain an additional missile at second, third, fourth, fifth. If four at seventh and 
five at night. So five missiles at 5d4 plus one apiece. Uh, the okay. door, you can recognize this giant as a stone giant, but it's ignoring the fire. Like stone giants can take half damage from fire. Yeah, but I'm going to punch it in reason, face. It's ignoring it. Yeah, I'm going to punch it in face with a bunch of uh, force bolts. Magic missile? So it takes a total of 22 points of damage. Oh, I was looking at magic missile feet at 12th level range. Yeah, I'm only 9th level, so... Okay. That would be 15 feet. Uh, well, it'd be longer than that. He's still in range. It's it's six inches plus one inch per level, so it's technically fifteen yeah. inches. Yeah, he's there, so yeah. he gets no saving throw. Roll your damage. I did twenty-two. Twenty-two, Ooh, nice. I'm about, to, I'm about to follow that up with some smashing if I can get to him. Uh, and then I'll spend the rest of my round pulling my wand from my belt and prepping for when I get a clear shot. And now it's the giant's turn. <clears throat> So, Redman, this creature just comes out of the fire, brushing off the flames. It drank a potion of fire resistance, and it uh, comes through and attacks you, Redmond. Now, he's just you're, putting it on. Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's huge. This, is, this, this stone giant towers over the hill giants. He's, like, probably 19 feet tall and looks strange. His skin is, like, hard, like a granite mm -hmm. surface, mm -hmm. and his head looks like a big granite block and he has this malevolent look in his eyes not the good type of stone giant by any measure <laughs> and he goes to grab you redmond like physically with his hands because he's a table he just discarded mm -hmm. but you remember your bonuses all right and he goes to grab you with he gets two tacks with the grasp mm -hmm. and what is your ac negative one slash one Okay, this guy has a lot of hit die. Now, did you add your minus four against large creatures? I'm minus four against large creatures? Yeah, I yeah, mentioned that. Yep, yeah, you bet. Oh, God. Dr dwarves generally against giants are minus yeah, four. four. Yeah, they're yeah, harder to hit. Something yeah. that's helping right now. So your AC now would be minus five? I guess so, yeah. So yeah. this thing, just to give you, this thing's tough. It can hit you with a 13. Okay. It's, this is a really strong giant. And he grabs you with both hands. Oh, yeah. He reaches and he grabs you with both hands. Right. And he goes to pull your, one of your arms apart, just rip you in two. Um, so I'm going to roll a damage. And because he got both hands on you, mm -hmm. uh, he can actually do double damage. Ew. Ew. And these guys do a lot of damage. Uh, one second. Sorry, I had this open. I closed it. Right. I understand. I have far too many tabs open at the moment. Storm Giant. Okay. Or no, Stone Giant. Storm Giant. You don't want... Storm okay. Giant's a little different than a Stone mm -hmm. Giant. A bit. <laughs> okay, what I roll? I may have made a mistake. That fifth... Your armor class, negative four? Negative one, and then you said a plus negative four to that? Yeah, also negative so, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, I made a mistake. The stone giant has nine hit dice. I thought I had 10, 11. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's, that second one now just misses. That 18 hits mm -hmm. for uh, three die 18, so three die six damage. And his other grasp missed to your luck. You take 10 points damage. So that brings me down to 64. And he tries, he pulls you into the fire. He tries to pull you into the fire. Now you can resist that. I'm going to try and resist that. Uh, what's your strength? Strength is an 18 slash 74 for some reason. 
Okay, so because you have that minus, I'm just going to arbitrarily say with that minus four bonus, mm -hmm. um, that'll give you. We'll have a a, a roll off here because okay. because of your stature as a dwarf, mm -hmm. you kind of have you're squirming and twisting and hacking away I'm at like, a. I'm like a squirrel. Yeah, a giant. we'll both just make a strength check. Okay. I rolled a six. I got a two. That's better than a six. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, you're in a bit trouble, and you squirm and twist out, and he he manages to grab you and squeeze you a bit, and you can feel the pain, doing that eight damage, and you just twist and squirm out, and like mm -hmm. you said, you're a lad, and mm -hmm. oh, he was gonna try to throw you into the fire behind him, which All he right. can easily do, giant. He can just if you fuck that up, he can just fling you in the back. So right just, now I'm on the guy right now. Pretty well, you're right in there in his legs. Because he squirmed out, twisted out, and he's like, Ugh, and you fall down where you want to be, right? Yeah. Um, so, and moving on, any other <laughs> giants can move. Uh, outside, you could see there's a large, giant, ugly bastard moving. They're, they're, take, they're moving up toward the doors, just as you killed the one, and the door's still a bit open, with the, uh, just to let you know. Nobody else can attack on their side. Those blade barriers are just humming away. Um, nothing changing there. Mm -hmm. And we're top of the order again with Frush. Or no, sorry again. Now we have an initiative. Next round. Six-sided right. die. I rolled a five. I had a six. Yes. Well done. So uh, spells and missiles go first. We're going to start, uh, unless anybody has those, we're going to start with Frush. And if your spell can wait, though, it can wait until your turn. But for now, if it needs to work, and yeah, it takes uh, less than five segments to cast as well. So uh, Redmond is in my move. way again. I'm on a guy's leg right now. Yeah, so um, Fawfuls will use his second magic missile on the stone giant. Okay. So that takes one segment, so I can wait, or it can go now, because it, it's damn near... Instant. No, it can go. Oh, yeah. Thank and these the missiles you. kind of they shoot out again. Uh, 24. Woo. That's more damage. That will definitely leave a mark. Definitely do some damage, <laughs> yes. One point away from max. Stupid oh. three. Oh, believe me. I, I'm up. Well, when I get a chance, I'm going to start smashing. And. More uh, damage again? Pardon? Uh, 24. Wow. Okay, this, there's chips of granite flying off, and you can see now there's like, there's weird kind of dark blood coming down this guy, but he's still just ferocious, and he seems to be a bit of a berserker, but he's hurting. Uh, yeah. Yep. Still yeah, coming. That's what he decided to give me four, 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 three. Yeah, <laughs> he's. And so Redmond, <laughs> okay, Redmond, this was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna start hitting that leg. <laughs> Work the other leg, or no? This is fresh legs. This is the, this is the leg I'm working on right so now. You get two attacks way. around, um, yep. and he's going down. He's gonna try to grab you again, of course. Oh, and don't let him grab you. Oof. All right. 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, that's the 22 will hit. Probably. Yeah. All right. And even with the armor modifier, I kind of have that vaguely in mind. I was yeah. kind of like, hmm. Mm, all right. Seven times three because this is a giant. Ooh. 21 damage for the first one. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's an amazing, powerful weapon, that dwarven hammer. Mm -hmm. this, this is ironic. A, a dwarf is hitting a stone giant with a hammer. Right, right uh, tool for the job. Ooh, Dwarves hit one. things with hammers. I feel bad for this guy. Natural 20. Oh, wow. Describe this. Like, he had some hit points left, but not a lot. But that's going to... Okay, actually, roll percentage first, real quick, to see how oh, yeah. spectacular this is. And right. you guys, this deserves a bit of a blood effect, I, I think. Remember? Yeah, it, it desires a big splash because giants have a lot of blood. One. <laughs> oh, 61. 
61. Okay, double damage. Double damage? Yeah. Oh, double damage, and then it's triple. Oh, Jeez. wow. No, so total, it's quadruple damage. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's just... Six times quadrupled, you said? And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, describe your action. <laughs> You're underneath. You and... see Redmond, like, slamming away this guy's knee gradually, like, crawling up and just hitting and just keep going up and up towards his head and just starts pounding. The, the, he takes it like this and just starts hammering right into the eyes, working, just trying to get this thing to fall. Yeah, and then uh, you'll have to make a saving throw for me if you take <laughs> half or no damage on the wall of fire. All right. Because you're close enough and you're trying not to get burnt. So mm -hmm. that's a breath weapon save. Mm -hmm. Okay. Saving it's sad. Uh, my brain went to Warhammer Fantasy RP where you make a saving throw to see if you get the giant to fall on you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks for the idea. I forgot about that. That does happen in this. And saves aren't listed for Redmond. And make a dex save. A oh, dex so, save. okay, just make a roll and I'll tell you. You have to, you want to roll high. Okay. You got an 18. Well, uh, the fire, you escape and make a dex save as this big stone giant falls on you. 19. Oh. You are very quick today, dodging yeah. around like a freaking cyclone. Like everyone's watching this dwarf doing flips through. in <laughs> a plate mail, and this giant goes to collapse on him, and he just pops out the other side and blows a bit of there's a bit of fire on his shoulder, and he just kind of blows it out. Oi! That's what that's more like it. And everyone's kind of just wants to. Hmm. All right. The Russian judge gives a nine point five. Yeah, it's like quite impressive. Like that hallway's become a charnel house once again. Um, mm -hmm. Now, Roki. All right. If he Ooh. can get to Redmond, I'm going to do a cure light wounds. Uh, okay, make a dexterity check to see if you can maneuver through the bodies and the carnage and avoid the fire and the falling right. giant. All right, that's a 19. That's a fail. You can't get there. Uh, next time. Yeah. Uh, beak and people are in the way. I just can't get past anybody. No. And stuff, explosions going off. It's just intense stuff. Flirred. Uh, the cleric, again, that's me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now he's back at the door. That's right. So the, the creature's dead. So he's like, I'm closing the door. Frush. And he goes, makes a strength check. And he passes it and slams the door shut for now. Not locked, but just closed. Bang! Slams the door shut. And braces himself, looking at F Frush and going, What now? Hmm. Frush, lock it on your turn. Uh, now we're almost at the... I think Funkin, who's who started actually? Did, me... did I get skipped? I thought I was supposed to go, and then the Giants. You said no, the Giants go first, and then I just never went. Yeah, well, Fawful Fof, uh, went first because he was casting a spell. Oh no, sorry, you weren't here, Bill. I said we're gonna we're gonna let you go last because you weren't here at at that moment. We actually went through right. everybody. Yeah, so right, you weren't here. I remember saying, "Oh, he's not here. We'll come back to him." Right? Yeah, you were yeah. putting kids to bed, yeah. When we started this. So you happen to be here in the right spot. We just finished running through the round. They fought this huge stone giant and Redmond put on a show and everybody else did their thing. And now you just caught up now where Frush or Flurd ran up, slammed the door shut, and looks at you, Frush, and you now have both the doors closed again. Not locked. You're kind of like holding your foot against the bottom of them. But these are huge doors. Actually, oh, I forgot. Ah, okay, Flirt has to make a 
uh, open doors, roll. See if he can close this door. Well, that's six sided die, right? And he can't close the door. <laughs> um, Fresh, could you make a closed door roll? See if he closed it. Because these doors are like 20 feet tall and 15 inches deep at least. Made out of huge timbers. Nope. Didn't get it. So the doors are still open and, and this one is really wounded that's on the other side. And yeah, it's 20 foot wide gap. You guys are in the way. Um, what do you want to do now, Frush? You couldn't close the door. Now it's your turn. And you're the last, actually, and then it's next round. Well, I'm going to just, if we can't close the door, then uh, do I think it would be, do I, well, first off, is there anything that I could use to, like, brace the door? I'm thinking, like, you remember Chamber of Mazerbo and Lord of the Rings when when the orcs and trolls were coming up and they shut the door and, and put all those, like, pole arms in it? Is there anything laying around that I could use to do that with? This is a pretty common place people travel through a lot. And what I'll... Uh, actually, I can roll a percentage die. But the thing is, you failed your roll. You didn't even get the, the door closed. Yeah, no, I didn't. You know what I mean? You were like, oh, trying to grab it. And it was like, oh, this freaking thing's so heavy. And it, you just couldn't get it closed. Yep. So uh, it wouldn't matter if you could wedge it. All right. Well, if if that's not going to matter, then I'm just going to step back and kill whatever comes through it. Well, you can you can hit that one right in front of you right now. All right, let's do it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, hard to miss your 14 level fighter, but anyway, he's he's wounded, and you can smack him on the snow. Go ahead, roll. I think you basically have to roll. Nine. That would hit uh, AC oh, yeah. negative two, I guess. Yeah, you have to get like a... I think you have to hit like a two to hit this thing. Yeah, I got it then. And yipe. As it's already wounded and you just smack it down. Smack and contemptuously. And you look out and all these wolves... You can see there's one... There's five right there, right? You can see them. And... uh they all step back as you just kind of smack this thing snout off and look at them like they can tell that you're like uh, quite an impressive person thing. Right. Um, and there's probably nothing else I can get to in this round without just exposing myself to a couple of giants. You could, yeah, exactly. You could move into that courtyard, but then you would all of a sudden lose your flanks. At this point, you guys are just can only be attacked from the front. Yeah, well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stand my ground, and uh, I mean it's the end of the round. I'm just gonna stand my ground. I'm not gonna push into the courtyard. Roger. Now let's roll initiative. Six sided die. Who's in charge of that? I rolled a six. They're Unless very eager. Like These wolves so. just charge oh, forward. Just giants behind them, cracking this whip, barking at them, and they're all just come charging through the doorway. But they'll at least it's head on. Oh yeah, we gotta. We got some simultaneous action happening. Yeah. Oh, you rolled a six? Wow. Yeah. So both parties can do their full action. We'll let you guys go first, and then they go, but everything will happen. Even if you kill them, they still get to have their the consequences of their action. Mm -hmm. Now, there's still a rackus at the, the blade barrier, just so you know. All They're right. still determined Thanks, to so. push rocks and whatever through it, bust through, but not quite working as they anticipated. Um, that hallway, how long does that wall of fire last? Um, oh, shit. Uh, quite a bit. Not yeah, as long as like... Blade Barrier, but it's a long time. Okay, they appear to have no choice. They don't know what to do. That that hallway's quiet as far as you know. Um, just to get, fill you guys in at the beginning of the round, uh, the double door is still there. Bedroom's still there. There's still the double doors here. Now, the only thing you did over here, you kicked in these doors and looked in and, and saw this conference chamber mm -hmm. and never searched it or checked it out. I mean, we, we looked in there, but there wasn't yeah, anything didn't, that we saw. It, no, not particularly. 
but now you 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 have a containment, you have a perimeter. It looks like. Um, mm -hmm. Let's start with uh, Frush. I'm gonna move. So Frush, and you're kind of the lead tactician, 14th level fighter. You've seen the most, definitely. And you, Flirt's <laughs> looking at you. So what do we do now? Look, I don't know. I saw at least ten of these beasts over there. They go, they die. But their master's there too. See him with the whip. What a vile creature. You going to close the door again or do we stand and fight? Close the door and I'll ice wall it. All right. Well, I'm going to make another um, closed doors roll then. Yep. No. Jesus. Uh, and that takes your action. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, Redmond. You gonna drink a potion of extra healing? Plus, you don't get your shield bonus on when they attack you. All right? Yeah, that's gonna suck. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Uh, Redmond, you're there and you can, you're you looking down the hallway and the fire's close and this creature you just dodged. What do you do? He's like, he's going through his pack, getting a potion of extra healing, popping the cork and just downing it. Okay, that's your action? Yeah. You can still move about a third of your movement if you want to move. You can uh, sort of get on the other side of the hallway and pull out right here. Go ahead, move your token. Right there. Yeah, you can back out and. <clears throat> He's going to uh, drink that potion. Roki. And roll for your whatever it is for healing. Extra healing, you die. That's uh, that's four or four die four. No, oh, hold on. You know, I uh, figured out a minute. I'll have to take that look. Uh, Roki, your turn. Yeah, he's gonna stand his ground. Yep. Probably do like a cure light wounds on Redmond because he's the most damaged at the point at this point. I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. He doesn't take a lot of damage, Redmond, has he? He's down to 64 out of 84. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now make now. There's bodies in the way. Make a dexterity save. See if you can get through there and do it. And touch them. Two. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. And that's, I so I have to move right. you over here. All right. Right. So okay. you can you can touch Redmond. All right. So I... that's what you're doing now. Fleur the cleric. Uh, what spells does he have? I have to find that list again. I sent it to you in Messenger directly. Oh, yeah. right. okay. Ah, let me think here real quick. Actually, at the moment, he doesn't. Ah, uh, he's, he's okay. He's going to join the door where the wolves are for now. Uh, so he checks his, make sure his blade barrier is going. He takes a quick look and he looks back at you guys. It's holding. It's good. They're determined though. Something's going wrong with it. You see the blade starting to chip and flutter. Oh. Uh -huh. Surprisingly. And Roki comes up to you guys and he spends his round coming up to you guys and going and just saying, How's it look? And the doors are open, and then all these wolves are barking and yipping and jumping through and attacking. And well, you tell me. So, uh, Funkin, your turn. I think Bill's got Funkin. Yeah, he does. Because nobody else has got Funkin. Bill, you there? I'm. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was playing another character. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Funk and uh, yeah, you were mm -hmm. gone there. I kind of ran him. He's a fighter magic user. So, <sighs> okay. He does have some javelins of lightning, and so on. There's not much you can do at the moment. Well, actually, there's something you could probably do, but. We can leave you for a moment and go to 
Go to Gleep. We'll come back to you in a minute. Okay. Unless you uh, have a plan. You want to do I, something? I don't. I found <clears throat> out 30 seconds ago I had this. Got, yeah, I, I kind of, because you have uh, one uh, one character right now, right? Yep. Yeah. I can I can continue to run him. I just don't I like I don't know what spells he has or or anything. Right. Yeah, that's on a a, a different picture. So uh, that would be why I don't see them under spells. <laughs> I'm just looking right now because I'll grab it for you. That's nice. There it is. Oh, does he have fireball? Uh. If he did, it might have already been blown. Yeah. Yeah, we did shoot off a bunch of fireballs. Hold on, I'll send you this document. Sorry about that, Bill. I was... Uh... No, that's fine. I just, it was just like... It's, I wasn't trying to... Have, I didn't know what was going on. Okay, there. I just sent it to Facebook, and Funkin's got Charm Person, Magic Missile, Read Magic, Sleep... Continual light, levitate web, fireball. He did shoot the fireball. But he still has the ice storm. Or no, he doesn't. He doesn't have the ice storm. Yeah, because Eric used that too. But then he, he does have... The have... Light, he'd probably... Maybe he'd throw that at the remaining hill giant there. And he does have his fireball, I think, because he used his ice storm instead. Might be wrong, though. I think that may have been second round. We did two fireballs, so and I didn't have a fireball. I had lightning bolt. Gleep did a fireball. Oh, I see. Cool. Okay. I know Gleep did one. All right, so I'm going to Funkin. I'm gonna. I can come back to you if you want. Um. What if? What do I think the one of the spells he has is suggestion? Oh. Can he suggest to the hill giant that he sleep? Now, there's Is no targets something? around right now, though. Okay, so I don't see any. Yeah, you're actually back in the suite, and there's action going on all around you. This hallway's become a bloodbath again oh. with fire and death, this dwarf carving away. <coughs> you can hear the yelps of these dire wolves, of course, where you know Frush is. And you're kind of hanging in the back and, and just, you know, doing the mage thing. Um, just to catch you up. And I sent um, a little pic of where you are and what you can see, so you really can't see much. And that's even more than you can see. Um, That's Beak's point of view. Yeah. um, I don't know. I guess uh, not seeing this hill giant down there, I might want to run up and join the people at the door with the dire wolves. Okay, roll a dex save to see if you can move through them, unless you're a small creature. Okay. So roll your dexterity or less, basically. And my dex. Yeah, that's. I've got an 18 dex. I rolled 11. Okay, so you can, you can move your token up and join. Go up the hallway and join that crowd. There's three up there now. And that's your move. Uh, now, Beak, your turn. And you were shooting your crossbow. Don't, 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 don't that stuff. And you can see yeah. now things seem under control as far as you can see. Go ahead. Does Beak see any uh, target past the wall of fire? I'm assuming no. Uh, make a... Uh, Make a wisdom check. Wisdom check. Uh, and it's ha- it's at, yeah, and it's going to say it's at disadvantage. So regardless, you just see fire down there and flame and bodies slumped over, burning. Okay. And oh, I have to make a, uh, a structure check. <laughs> see if the plant catches on fire. Yeah, and well, it's not pretty. There's a lot of smoke and flame, and and whoever is backing off, you can just see figures backing off around the corner down there. Uh, uh, then I'll turn and I'll look up the and see if he sees any uh, dire wolves or anything. No, they they contained the doors. They're 
holding their own. Doors are closed? No, not closed. They're both open, and the, the wolves are going to charge. All right, like the, the attacks see. on. You could and you, you can see them. You can shoot. All right. Fire away. But if you miss, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's already distilled his confidence in his abilities. Okay. It didn't work out so well, but he is. All right. Go ahead and fire. Be, uh, first shot would be negative seven on my class. Second shot, 20. And these will all be at one dire wolf. Per oh, second. wow. Okay, so roll damage for the first shot that hit. All right. They all three hit. I got another uh, negative seven armor class. The first shot. Now, uh, Flirt and, and Frush and Roki and Funkin, you see these bolts zinging by your ear and around your hip. Uh, first one would be six points of damage. And, six uh, points of damage, you said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. And uh, the, you want me to roll a D100 on the nat 20? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. If you roll, I'll just let me know what you roll. I got a bit of a right. home brew. All right. I just have to take out some modifiers. I had it set up last round for a 66, I mean 64 plus 6 to a, a magic missile to the stone giant, but he died. So I was like, oh, well, why bother using the spell? Mm. Ah, down. Sorry, I can't believe it's taking me so long to get this modifier down to nothing. <laughs> no, not up, down. Oh, it's at negative 17. That's why it's going. We got some dead uh, wolves. Just zero. Just Okay, I, it's going to have a modifier, but I don't care. I'm just rolling. Wow. Okay, rolled a six is what the roll was. The minus was... So what'd you roll on the 100th side of die? Uh, just six, use, use the dice side. roller on the left and roll 20. It's easy. Just hit the... There is no D100 on it. I have to go to the advanced roll on the left to get that. And I got these stupid modifiers now. No, no, it's an easy one. It's like this one right here. It's like, boom. All right, you then just... that one will work. 20. Uh, okay, so double damage. Okay. So, 2d4. Boom, boom. Uh, 7 plus 3, that would be 10. Wow. And the final uh, crossbow bolt would be minimum 4 points of damage. So. You, oh, you, oh, wow, he killed it. Yeah. These bolts just slice through the hallway and between people's legs and over their shoulders and this one dire wolf just slumps down. Clear. All right. Now that I'm here. You are yeah. here now. And plus, you're visible. I'm no, you're here. not quite here. Yeah. I know I'm here. What else knows I'm here? Oh, that's right. Nobody sees you. By the way, Cloyer, he's gone. Yeah. Oof. So my movement is what? Clear can move 12 inches. So he can move like 12 of these squares. Yeah, so let's see. I'm going to move up here next to this doorway. Uh, stupid click the thing. That way, if anybody comes out of the door, I can backstab them. Oh, oh, Bill, we got some feed, mic feed. Uh, let me let me mute myself. I'm sorry, forgot. No, uh, so Cloyer, you have to make a deck save. See if you can maneuver. You have to go through a couple bodies there in that okay. little trek. Yes. Okay, you make it over to the side of the door, and you, the doors are open. You can see the wolves are going are trying to burst through, of course. Uh, Faffle. All right. So I've got that. And oh, man. Faffle, what gear do I have? I've got the wand, and that's 
and uh, and spells. <laughs> That's and there will be point where I'll, I'll I'll make like morale saves for the monsters as well. Yeah. At this point, they still have their shit together. You can tell I'm that. I'm gonna move up here to the edge of the the group in preparedness to lend any aid should the uh, wolves pop through and do the in the back magey thing. So now you got. A big group there. There's five or six people at that part. Uh, Redmond stepped back at the entrance. That, that fire's flaming in there. Uh, are you done, Favel? Yep, I'm done. I just moved. Now, the Giants, quote unquote, turn. Now, you can tell they've backed off from this assault in this part. It failed, right? Their, their stone giant ally died. More of their ogre minions were torched. Uh, up at this part here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have two attacks on each of you guys, plus this one giant back here has this huge whip, and he's going to try and grab Flirt. He cracks his whip down, and it tries to snake him. Uh, what's your AC, Flirt, without your shield? Bill? Ooh, uh that's a pretty good roll. Unless you have minus five or less. I don't think Flirt does. Oh, he's not here. Okay, so well, anyway, the whip does potential. Now Flirt has to make a saving throw. Versus a uh, petrification poison. And if someone wants to roll that for him, Flirt is a cleric, right? Yes. Is what level? Kind of. Um. Sorry, I accidentally uh, closed the window. Oh, okay. That big honking hill giant sergeant. Uh huh. He's got a huge whip, and he cracked it right in and and hit you. I rolled a sixteen. Unless your AC is like phenomenal. Negative uh, AC's. Are you talking about Falcon or or Frush? Flirt. No, fir, Flirt. Oh wait, who's Flirt? I'm not Flirt. That's you. Oh, that's the cleric. Oh, that's my guy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> right, he's ninth level. So his save throw is seven. Um, I'll roll that. Right. Oh, wow. He just contemptuously shrugs off this, well, the, the whip does some damage, but it doesn't grab him whatsoever. And in fact, it does take 13 points damage. Let me get that a minute. Uh, so Flirt has taken some damage. This whip cracks him, but he, it tries to scoop him, and he, this thing was trying to flick him back into the courtyard. Where he could have been ripped to shred by shreds by these wolves, and the whip totally snaps. Uh, now, to this large dire wolf attacks Flirt, and they're also going to be attacking you, Fresh, in a moment. And that's a miss. Oh, wow. Okay, Flirt gets an attack at the opportunity on this guy, and that might hit actually. Uh, no, nope. okay, forget it. Now, uh, Frush, your AC without your shield, you're trying to get the door closed, and these two wolves are going to try to grab you and drag you into the courtyard. So your AC would be zero, I think. Yeah, yeah, if it's a plus five sealed, then uh, AC is zero. Okay, one of them missed, one of them hits. Okay. And... Take three points damage, and you have to make a strength check. So, what's your strength? Or no, actually, we'll uh, we'll give you saving throw versus uh, petrification polymorph. 
about for the yeah, fight. I have yeah. I have no idea I have no idea what that is because it doesn't it's, list them. It's on... like five. <laughs> so so roll five or over. Yeah, I got it. Fourteen. And it doesn't work. You take a few three points damage from the bite, which is right. from your hundred four. Yeah, I still got a hundred and one. Uh -huh. Anyone else? So that's two tax on you. Two tax on Flurred. The fire is off the hallway. It's closed that off. The blade barrier is humming away. Everything else seems quiet. It's kind of eerie. You guys have like everything sealed off at the moment. It's really you might have some time on your hands. Um, it's the end of the, the round, and we don't even have to roll initiative because there's... Oh, no, we do for the wolves, of course. So we'll roll initiative. I rolled a four. Is this through there? It's, if not, I'll roll it. Uh, three. Sad day. You go first. Okay, so let me give it a moment. We'll give Nestor a second to get back. Oh, we're picking up some mic noise too. Uh, that's probably me. Hold on, let me. I keep forgetting to mute myself. <laughs> that's all right. Does this? Does this? Does Does Google hang? Do they have like a push to talk or anything? Uh, they have a clunky point and click option, I think, to mute. But they should have a generic keyboard button. I'm, I'm lucky on my headset, I just have a button. But don't worry about it too much. Once in a while, I'll just say. But anyway, uh, wait in a second. You guys lost initiative. Yet, yeah, not much is happening. These wolves are going to continue to attack. Unless you guys have missile phase first, of course. Anyone have missiles? Or spells? Uh, no. Nope. Well, I, okay. I, I was thinking, I was thinking uh, what's his name? The uh, Not Frush, the other guy, Funkin. He, he's got those javelins of light. He might try to throw one of those at a, at a giant if he can see one. Yeah. Remember, friendlies are in, in line of fire. If you miss, you oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, no, he won't do that then. Um, Fleek has no such concerns. <laughs> but that's, no. Uh, so everyone decide what they want to do this round. Think about it for a second. And Nestor's back. So they want initiative. Now, this guy's he brings his whip back and he's pissed off. And he's wondering if it'll still work. And I'm going to give him a deck save to see if he can actually get that thing functioning again. He does. And he goes to crack his whip again. And if it's odd, it's at fresh. It's even, so it flirred. And this giant cracks his whip. Ten. It's actually surprisingly powerful creature. Uh, Flirt, who's got the thing open? Actually, I do. Flirt has armor class. Now, are, are you going to still try to close the door? F fresh? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So you don't get a shield bonus. Beak will yell out, Why bother? Finish them off while we have the other hill giants cornered with flame and blade. You know, when he says that, I probably am like, I'll screw it, and then I let it go, and and I won't. Uh, won't <laughs> Once more it. into uh, the breach. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So you give a grin, twist back, covered in giant blood and and wolf blood. Screw the door; it's stuck open, and you face the adversaries as they stream through. So you'll get your shield bonus. And two attacks on you, and I'll quick roll. They need if you have your shield. They need like 19s or 20s. One was close. Uh, on Flurred, the second hits, and he has to make a same throw versus Breath Weapon. I suffer some frost damage as well. Takes one damage from the bite, and Flurred makes a 
fails a saving throw. It takes two to eight. Takes another nine. So two nine. Ah, Flirt's taking a little bit of damage. He's down twenty-seven hit points. I shouldn't met it back, but you can see Flirt's taking some damage, and this thing bites him, and he fights it off, and ah, and this steam or, or this frost left on his arm, or it bit him, and whatnot. And down below, yeah, the creatures that are, the, the guys that were coming down that hallway have disappeared. They're gone. That hallway's just burning with fire and a few corpses under Redmond. Redmond, you're noticing this. You're just like, hmm, where are they going? Um, up here, they miss, 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 miss. Dude with his whip. Did I do his, his attack with his whip yet? Oh, I did, and he missed, right? Uh, okay, it's quiet again. Except for these creatures attacking, and now it's your turn, Frush. All right, well, uh, assuming I can get to one of them without going too far in the courtyard, I'm going to make my three attacks with the battle axe. Yes, they, they moved forward and attacked, so you, now I'm moving them up. This situation, you have a large one, and I forgot... He missed with this whip. There's a chance he would have hit one of the wolves when this guy missed. Do okay, so I hit I'm going to quickly roll that a minute. All right. No, that's fine. He uh, did not hit a friendly. So, fresh, here you are. Okay, hit armor class zero, armor class one, and armor class three. <laughs> so you can you just rat tat tat tat. So are those three? Those are three hits. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's roll all the damage at once. It's twenty-one. Okay. Well. Describe how that creature meets its fate. Well, as he rushes forward to meet me, I like let out with a bestial battle cry, and and I basically, um, you know, cut his head apart down the middle. Cleanly. Yep. Rah! Down he goes, and you still have attack left over. You can hit the guy beside him. All right. Okay, that will hit armor class one. That's it. And that does 10 points of damage. Okay, that's a start. Things that are still attacking because this guy back there with the whip is driving them on. Um, there's two rather large ones that seem to be able to breathe this breath weapon, kind of, and they move, work their way to the front. So Fresh finishes up Redbud. Are you there? You, you, you're looking around, and this hallway, you, I'm not sure, what was the, the duration on that wall of fire? 12 rounds. Uh, this is the fifth round. So it seems to be still in effect. Oh, I have to make another roll. Okay. Uh, there's no major structure. Like, it hasn't caught fire yet. How's the uh, blade barrier looking? Because that was 36 rounds. Oh, yeah. That thing will hum for another 10 minutes at least. Okay. At this point, he's like, uh, he's. Redmond's sort of g gonna see if he can help out his uh, allies at the other corridor. Would you be able to reach them in time? At the moment, frankly, it's pretty cluttered. There's six, five, six guys down there. And mm -hmm. it's a bit bottlenecked, frankly. It's a 20-foot wide passage, but still, five or six guys are down there. And mm -hmm. it's pretty cluttered. You're thinking, yeah, you're dwarf. You could probably shoulder your way through, through there. Hey, Darren, refresh, because you're robot and bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, pretty bad.
Okay, so yeah, I was saying that. Yeah, you could go there, but the, it's busy. There's five, six people in that corridor. I'm assuming I probably have to make a dex check. And you'd you'd yeah. probably be in the way. Well, where where could you go? Out. Right. Hopefully, he's thinking maybe leap into the fray. Get but it's no out. room. All right. There's like they have three people there already. And I, I realize it's 20 feet wide, but if you want to swing a weapon... You fool, throw the hammer at the hill, giant. That is true. I could always throw the hammer. Don't miss. You can't actually right. see, the, see the hill, giant, where you are. If I can, if I can, if I can hit him, I'm going to try. Nope. I'm going to try and close some distance and maybe throw into the fray in there. Hopefully hit a wolf. Yeah, you could clip one by the door. There's a big one there, one of the, the frost ones. Yeah, I'm going to try and get him. All right, you run forward, throw. Uh, your, yeah, your thought goes quite brilliant. What's your roll? I'm going to roll the hit. 18, 19, 20, 21 to hit. Okay, uh, that'll definitely hit. And these ones are large, those bigger ones. So you do uh, triple damage. Okay. Oh, God. Why do I keep rolling? <laughs> Jesus. And Eight. this one's wounded. 24 damage? Oh, well, even if it was, that's... Your hammer just flies through everyone's... In between your hips of the guys in front of you and takes it right in the melon. Mm -hmm. Probably it's like a dead. Concert. Oh, it's just whack. Yipe. <laughs> and you guys are piling up some wolf mm -hmm. corpses. And this guy at the whip now, he's desperately cracking it and trying to grab you guys and driving these wolves forward. And they're like mm -hmm. starting to think twice as the bodies mound. Uh, Roki. Uh, he's not going to do anything at the moment. Just sort of going to. Has a bless worn off for any of them? No, not okay. yet. Okay. Could he cast and stack that? Like, could someone else cast Bless? Could he do his so we get another one going? Well, in, that, in that case, that could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different gods and different powers, different layers. Yeah. If so, mm -hmm. he would cast it on Flirt so we have that um, sort of aura going. So you guys are plus two on your AC. All right. Uh, Funkin, oh, Fleur, the cleric, he's up there now, and he's actually back pedals. He's pretty bloody. These wolves have done damage, that whip did damage, mm -hmm. and he back pedals, and that one creature gets an attack of opportunity on him as he does that, and it hits him. One. Okay, <laughs> not rolling great damage for these creatures. Uh, he makes a saving throw, so it doesn't take the frost damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, Flurred backs away and leaves a hole like for uh, Redmond could fill right in there, basically. Yeah, he's going to... The moment he sees an opening, he's going to fill that void. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Funkin'. I'm going to have to grab a beer here in a bit. How are you guys mm -hmm. doing? We need a break from this combat. It's been like just intense, like fight, 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 fight. I appreciate your patience. I got about 45 minutes left before I have to go to bed for work. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys give them another huge... Okay, well, let's see how it goes here. See if they can break through, but looks like you guys are holding it well. Yeah. Okay, Funkin is... No. Uh, Funkin... You can see things are going well, as far as you can tell. And I'm just going to grab a beer. I'll be right back. A buddy of mine joked that this, that our game is sounding like the river, like the fantasy version of the Battle of Bunker Hill.
kind of is. This one's basically just kill stuff for long periods of time. Because we're currently just holding one position and hoping that they get close enough to where we can just kill, kill, and kill some more. We're, we're going to wipe out this upper level, you know, with, you know, just continuous, you know, assault. Just come on, keep on coming at us, fellas. Do keep in mind, I think, uh, I've only got Dispel Evil, Death Touch. I've got a bunch of um, support spells at this point. Uh -huh. I have not tried Death Touch yet. Okay. I don't even know what it does. It's just, I don't know. Come on, let's, uh, let's finish these wolves off, then maybe I'll drop that wall of fire. It, it, it won't last forever like the blade barrier. You know, we'll go hunt them that way. If it's not on fire on its own over there. Yeah. For all we know, we could have a chance of collapsing that side of the... That portion of the building. Hey. <laughs> it's okay, too. Ooh, who has the yellow light going? I just marked flirted with my bless, so I wouldn't forget. Oh, nice. And by the way, usually I run my adventures with half the members. Like, we got like eight, nine people playing. Yeah. It's just for fun, and so I appreciate that, too. Or I'm just pushing moves. So that being said, uh, you guys want to continue for a bit? We got a good half hour left, and I have a feeling you guys might break the back of the defense so far. You've rebuffed them again, and I'm making a morale check now to see if the defenses collapse, right? But for now, Fonkin... You see that baffle retreats are flared. And is he here? Is uh, Bill right here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah. You don't have Funkin, do you? Um, I have him up, yeah. <laughs> Does he have anything in store? Um, I don't, I, he was, he's pretty much out of like big power spells. I mean, he could put up a wall of fire. Um, you know, but he, they, I don't know if they're able, if he's able to do that right now. I'm not familiar with that spell. Um, if, if nothing like that, you know, I mean, I guess he could put him to sleep, but, and that would enable the, the guys to like, close the door yeah, if we wanted to do that. Um, I don't know what he's used. Has, has he used magic missile in this fight? I'm not sure if Funkin has. Yeah, that's a problem with switching around people. Uh, yeah. It's a good call. I don't think he's used magic missiles. No, he's no. Okay. fireball and ice storm. All right. Well, he'd probably use magic missile then. And who he can see depends on whose target is, of course. He can actually see that big giant guy. Oh, that's who he'd get then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's an automatic hit, so you just roll for damage. Um, what are what's what does that do in this edition? Uh, it's like you roll four sided die and add one for every level. Not every level. Every other level. Oh, every other level. What level are you? Five. Uh, a fifth level. Hold on a second. 3d4 plus 3. 3d4 plus 3. Oh, and but... 8. Okay. Rolled kind of bad there. Gotcha. 
And Somebody by the way, you. while you guys are here, I'm, I am playing a actual introductory game in Hamlet, which is going to be homebrew and quite different. It's not going to be dungeon crawl like this. It's going to be a lot of role play, um, a lot of interaction, a lot of fun, and in a different way. But uh, anyway, uh, so those magic missiles clip off them and. But not doing much damage. He shrugs him off, this large creature. He's got a huge battle axe. You guys have never seen such a huge battle axe in your life. This thing must be 15 feet long. <laughs> Blade the size of a person. And, but he still has that whip out. He's been using that trying to grab somebody while he sends in the dogs. Mm -hmm. And he has a couple of helpers that have caught up now as the time has gone by. So Funken moved. Gleep. Uh, Gleep is going to just stand down there and keep watch, I think. He's... If possible, you could, you could turn Redman into a monster if you wanted to. Haste. You could do it. I could, but... Well, I could do it too, but... Yeah. I don't know that don't... using haste on the dogs is a good idea. Yeah, I just don't see wasting it on this little... Oh look, there's another. No, there's only, there's only one giant. No, is that another one coming? Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, so I, far I, things have gone well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that. You know, I'll just let you all finish the dogs, and Gleep's going to save his magical powers. You fools! I will not waste my powerful arcane mysteries on these bad dogs. I will use my concentration to keep these flames afloat to keep the giants off your backside. And, it, and it's Darth Vader saying that too. You fools. That's Gleep. <laughs> and, and now Beak. <laughs> uh, Beak. Can Beak see a target? Can he see a wolf? No. Well, if he peeks around the corner. Yeah, well, I, I'm sorry. That's why I meant move five feet forward. Yeah, and... but he has to shoot through a lot of flat friendlies. I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> don't think he cares. All right, Beak will launch three more at one particular wolf. Yeah, there's one guy he can see there. Okay, then that's the guy he's rolling at. Uh, Hit him. First one will be negative 11 armor class. Second one will be negative 4 armor class. Third bolt will be negative uh, 6 armor class. Sunk, sunk, sunk. Now, this guy has 14 hit points. Oh, okay. Uh, first so bolt, let's see what you can do. Seven. First bolt was seven. Second bolt was uh, four for a total of 11. I need three more on this one. Ah, four for a total of 15. Never mind. That's a kill? Yeah, 15 hit points. Wow. You guys are stacking up wolf corpses. They're starting to whine and snap back and at the whip, and they don't want to go into that bloodbath door anymore. Everything that goes near that place seems oh, to get really smacked in the snout and peppered with bolts. It doesn't last long. They're going to want to move back eventually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, back <laughs> to where he was posted. <laughs> back off. Back off. And... <clears throat> yeah, the wolves scatter. Aw. Oh. They all just start yelping and freaking and running around, and this giant is screaming and giant tongue, you bitches, you little stupid bitches, come on, ah, fuck you. And, and his buddy's coming to help him, but the wolves are kind of out of control and running around. Oh, man. Yipping and snapping even back at him. I see an opening. I'm going for it. All right, Claire next. Uh, yeah, Claire. Yeah. So he's in there by himself pretty much at this point, right? It seems so. Where's Clary? Oh, he's, at, well, he's around the corner and watching all this stuff and the pi bodies pile up. and, and Invisible. Bolts. Yeah, um, I, yeah, you're right. Nobody sees you. Where's the, uh, the way to know what my backstab's at at this point? Your twelfth level? I think, that's, I think that's times four. Yeah. Okay. Very effective. Quadruple at nine to ten, quintuple at level thirteen to sixteen. So 
Ooh. Times five. Wow. <laughs> Plus you're visible. <laughs> Plus I'm invisible. Yes. So I will how close is the, the big guy to the door? Because he's 25, 30 feet. So I can sneak in there and and stab the fuck out of him, right? Mm, yeah, if you make a dex save to get through all the bodies. Okay. Yes. Wow. Um, <laughs> in fact, you went right between his legs. So definitely. All right, so let's see if I can stab at him. So what kind of bonuses do I get for that for being invisible? Is it's like, what, plus four, and my backstab is well, what, another plus four? Backing from behind, you get like, oh, man. You're like a plus nine. Okay. You and I'll use my plus two short sword. And... There should be no way you can miss hitting him. Yeah. Don't say that. If you're also one... If I can use my dex with my plus two short sword, it gets even nastier. But um, let's see. Quintuple damage. Oh boy! Like, see this. How many attacks you get around? Um, I think just one. It doesn't tell me I get more than yeah, one. Yeah, thief. Yeah, it just gets one. <laughs> As a thief, probably. Uh, yeah. But so I'm curious. See this. This could that's hurt. The whole thing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh, fuck you, roll 20. God damn it. 13. That might not hit. Actually, this thing's AC. That might be hit, actually. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have great AC, actually, frankly. Well, I rolled a 4. Yeah, but still plus yeah. nine. Plus nine. <laughs> You're fine, dude. Uh, let me have a quick look here. Where the hell did oh I lost my thing. Un momento. I forgot the Thaco charts are in the uh DMG for this, aren't they? Uh this edition. Yeah, I'm just looking up their AC I hear a minute for And that's a thief, right? Yes. Ah, you needed a 12 to hit. So 13 hits. Yay! <clears throat> hmm. So damage. Oh, so he's got armor class 1. Short sword is a D6, D6. If I remember correctly. Yeah, this horrific, one-eyed, evil, vile keeper. It's a particularly huge hill giant. Where is the short sword? Short sword. Sword short. Oh, that's cost. Um, Against large creature. Sword short. D8. Okay. Really? Wow. Yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> so let's see. 1D8 times Time. 5. Ha 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 ha! Forty oh. points of damage. I know how I feel every time I hit somebody. Now this creature had been in the main hall when it was attacked. He had taken a bit of damage from that, <laughs> and he was down to uh, he had twenty eight hit points left. Well, he did now forty. He's very dead. So describe how you stuck in there and. One Took this well, you, fourteen foot tall hunchback, gap tooth, stinking mess. Well, you said I slipped in be between his legs, effectively. So as I went by, just one log slash and got both femoral arteries as I passed through. <laughs> and what a! And you were covered in a fountain of blood. Yes, Kurosawa film moment. Just. It's like, oops. Uh, make a deck save. See if you can avoid. Being coated in giant blood, and then make giant, another no, deck no. save to see if he doesn't fall on you. Well, I'm coated in giant blood. 
And now I to make a deck save. That's my decks on the number, so I managed, <laughs> I managed not to get fallen on. Okay, crash as he comes down. And he would have done three die six damage if he fell on you. See, now it rolls high for me. Stupid. And boom, and people are scattering. There's panic. The dogs are yipping and jumping around. The there's a couple ogre warriors that are in the courtyard that are looking around at each other and and there's panic as there's as kind of this leader goes down. Um it seems that that attack has faltered in the courtyard. The dogs are running around. There's only about five left. Um, oh, yeah. These the or broke. ogres yeah. start to back up and flee. They're running toward the other side of the courtyard. There's, and they they recognize when there's like a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. And you guys shattered that northern part. Yeah, plus this guy, you know, their, their leader just wound up dead for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah oh and the dogs are all running so you broke the offensive up there the offensive to the south has backed off silence descends on the battlefield unless you want to run down these wolves there's they're scattering to the corners there's another ogre in there isn't there there's three ogres and these ogres are running to the northern part where there seems to be another set of gates that lead out of the steading and these ogres are actually fleeing Okay, so is the the big one of them down. the big ogre -ish or the the hill giant is he moving or is he staying? Not the dead one. Oh, I'm gonna roll one. for him. Yeah. Um, no, he's uh, he's not panicking or anything. He just looks around yeah. and he starts stumbling and running toward the other side of the courtyard. Too stupid to know what's going on. Yeah. Sort of, yeah, and just like, ooh, and he, well, there's just a big bloody mound of corpses and stuff there. Like you guys are, yeah, the blade barrier is still humming away, the flames still scattering, it's, and all of a sudden there's quiet for a moment on the battlefield. If I can get a chance, I want to run one of them down. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, Redmond could run out there, but they're quick. They and they he could run. He runs down the courtyard for a couple of rounds trying to chase one down. But these wolves are running and yipping and I, 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 and he could probably kill one. Uh, I'm just gonna get whatever I can get. I can I can get without wasting time. And Cloyer, you quickly jump down. Now we're gonna go to the. Uh, you guys quickly group up again and say, and the wolves gotta go to the other end of the room and and. These ogres have opened the gate over here and have fled. Right. There were three of them, and they ran away. And there's about four wolves that ran with them. In that case, just gonna sort of stay in that hallway if I can't get to them. Yeah, you can't. They, the wolves are really quick. The ogres are had head on you. So you guys killed probably about well, quite a bit of stuff there. This hill giant, he's to the other side, but he went through this door. Mm -hmm. Cloy, you can see him slip through a door way up here. He's going to tell them. And, going to tell and he them. runs away. Yeah, and there's more doors over here. There seems to be a way out. You guys could leave right now if you want. There's there's a gateway That's... right there. There's a wolf jumping at it, trying to get out at this point. Um, can we leave? Let's press our advantage. Uh, I suggest we drop the blade barrier concentration and just go full frontal assault. No, that bl full. that blade barrier goes until it's done. Oh, there That's is the no just get rid That'll of it. exist for thirty six rounds. And it's got like eight minutes to. It's humming away still, and you can tell everything's quiet in this place. Like it's you, you guys have have rebuffed a couple major attacks, and you've done major damage. And there's bodies burning and flames flickering everywhere. That wall of fire is still going. You can hear the blade barriers humming away. This is still going, still clipping the odd chunk of bone or whatever happens to slump in there as it, the blender keeps going. And uh, hmm. you have, you, you sense you have a bit of time. You guys, you guys look at each other and give a wink and think, "Holy guys, the what should we do?" Falls. Well, we're we're running out of uh, resources now. Mind you, we're not completely out of of options yet, but 
we could always rest. Yeah, but they do we want to back off? Yeah, but they could come at us while we were resting. They know this place better than we do. I suggest we guard on our guard. Well, and despite uh, combining the last session and this session, you guys have done so much carnage. Um, there's, but still, the chief is still out there, right? We're just going to get the chief, and then there's going to be a power vacuum. Depends on how many people actually left to fill that power vacuum. <laughs> Skill Hill, John. So you guys can quickly meet. Like, there's a bunch of you, eight or nine of you, right? So you're all quickly yeah. yelling down the hallways. All right, everyone. Uh, so far, so good. And everyone winks, but Flirt looks a little rough. He's got some wicked bite marks and he's been hit by a whip. How's Flirt looking in terms of like. He's down. Uh, he's about just under half his hit points, but he's doing okay. I'm going to do a. I'm going to do a cure. Cure serious wounds on him. Uh, three die eight. Okay. Is and that plus or anything? Good. Seven, six, eight. Nice. 21 hit points back. Yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, St. Cuthbert, bless you. Mm -hmm. And he motions with his hand as a symbol of St. Cuthbert. And he looks much better. So what do we do, lads? He suddenly stands up. I say, uh, we got these these chumps on the run. So we press our advantage. Mm. We keep after them. What about you two? Well, there's worse choices. Now, Frush, make a uh, wisdom check for me. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. I was careful in sprinkling, so I am invisible for a minimum of 11 turns. Up oh, to wow. 20 turns. That was like barely sprinkled it on you, right? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, I'm I'm disembodied voice, man. Am, am I trying to roll high or low? Low. Then I made it. I'm, yeah. Wisdom is 10. I rolled a 7. Hmm. And it's a, a bit too quiet. They're not quite. They're not quite finished, but you, you you've broken the main resistance. You guys probably could move around the area, quote unquote, at this time. Uh, you're thinking tactically, tactfully. Um, you guys can actually decide what you want to do at this point, but you do also have a nagging feeling that there was. Uh, Oh no! I'll let it slide for now. You guys have to investigate and stuff. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll uh, just say you you recognize that you broke the resistance. Like you guys have the advantage and the initiative. Mm -hmm. If there's a, a a big combat coming up anytime soon, I'm just gonna bow out now because I gotta get up for work in the morning. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and then it's probably a good time to phase this down. Yeah, I'll probably take off too because I had to, I had to leave. I don't know by around midnight anyway. Yeah. And at this point, guys, you guys can totally pull back and say we've totally thrashed this place. We've given a bloody nose and set the torch to it and head out. Uh, or if you're interested, you can go. There's another session or two available. There's a bit more to this than meets the eye. Well, I'm, willing, like, I'm, I'm willing to continue it by yeah, all yeah. means. I'm, I'm willing to continue, but cool. Yeah, yeah. this is sort of a, this is scratching a combat itch that I don't that I don't get to do very often. No, that's cool because it's going to be there is a bit more to it. So I'll mm -hmm. I'll set it up for next Monday again. Cool. All right. And cool. Yeah. and I'll work on it and develop the next strategy. But now you guys did take on the next front and you guys didn't take much damage frankly i'm mm -hmm. like mm, you guys are pretty tough but uh yeah that's good though I, I like it you guys are having fun with that i hope you are mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna close down the the broadcast and and i hope everyone had fun and 
That was a good time. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh,